Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of our FIFA 22 Create Your Club series with Liscard AFC. And as you can see today we've got a game against Sunderland kicking things off but we've also got the more important thing of the January transfer window. Do we strengthen the team? Do we add options for uh, the rest of the season just to get us over the line? Or do we decide nothing needs to be done and we just sit with what we've got? Now, there are a lot of available free agents, which obviously we could sign at any point. But I've been looking into a few and there are a couple that are um, catching my eye. But we're just going to go through now, play our first game, obviously wait for these days of the scout reports to come through. And then we will progress from there. So hopefully there will be a new addition this transfer window that will help our team progress to the next level because we do need it. Admittedly, we've been good, but we do need to improve slightly. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Gray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you. All right, let's get into this, guys. No idea why I've got a blue cursor above my name today. Because I'm still using the same controller I did prior. And I've only got one controller turned on. It's lovely football. Gong. Sadler. Unlucky. Vet. Unlucky there from us. We need to do a little bit better than that to put it away, but creating the chance nice and early in the game. Sadler. Lancaster. Back in there. Cleared away. O'Malley. Nine wins in the previous 14 at home. What an impressive record. Coming into a new division. Lancaster. For us. That wasn't where I played the pass. I'm just curious because I aimed that pass down. I don't know why it went where it did. Right. Hard this. Watch this pass from Lancaster. I look down. When does it do it? Right. So I'm looking down here. Why does it go there? <laughs> okay, EA, yeah, interested. Lancaster, gong, gong, good touch, crosses it in, Sadler, oh, unlucky. It's a, good, it's a good start to this game from us so far. We're getting closer, a very good save from the goalkeeper with his left, uh, left boot there to keep it out. Now, Digraph with the corner, Sadler. Tries to header it down. Poncho, it's gone out already. But he, tried, he did try and keep it in. Go on. Lancaster wins that header. Brilliantly won there by Oko. O'Malley. Oko. Valakari. Oroz. Valakari. Digraph hits it. Good save. It's a lovely ball. Sadler. It's a chance for Sadler. Sadler! He does it! Lucas Sadler puts us 1 0 up here. Really good finish in the end. I thought he was going to get it wrong. But he finds a way to put it into the back of the net. And it's a lovely finish. And he's 1 0 to Liscard here over Sunderland. What a goal. Good first touch. Gets lucky with a second touch and a third touch to put it away. Brilliant finish. What a goal. Pass the keeper. Oh. Adam Mouton 
holds the ball in the corner. Edwards crosses it in. Chance to make it two, but that should be full time. And it is a 1-0 victory over Sunderland. You can't be too upset with that. Good team Sunderland are. And we've managed to walk away with the victory. Wasn't at our best, but neither were they, to be honest. But we've managed to find a way through. Win 1-0. We move on to the next fixtures. And also the tra rest of the transfer window, which we'll be playing through all in this episode today. We're going to get to deadline day. We're going to get through deadline day. There's a good chance there could be some transfers. There might not be some transfers, but I don't know. We're going to have a quick look at our confidence update as well and uh, see what's going on. Youth development. I've got nine eligible. I've been playing um, with him for uh, at least have one player from the Youth Academy. Signed in the first season play at least 30% of the games in the next season. I believe there is somebody doing that. I need to double check. Seven clean sheets is fine. Reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. Well, you're deluded. Okay. Financial. We've done the financial. Good. So the youth development, I don't know if that's going to happen. Not actually sure if we have anybody in. The, well, Digraph, actually. We have Digraph. That's fine. Um, Rose as well. Pap. Yeah, we got a couple in there. We've got a couple boys in there, so we should be fine on that. Um, but, yeah. We're just waiting for the correct players to pop up on the transfer list or free agency, you know, that we get a good report back for. And then we may make offers. We may go for people. We may just decide not to. But it's going to be towards the end of this transfer window where you're going to see some action, I believe. As we have a match rescheduled. Next game in the league is Peterborough. We're going to simulate this Peterborough game. Fingers crossed we can get a victory. We are 10 points clear now. We do have a game in hand. So let's just say 7 points clear. Well, we need to just keep progressing forward and forward and forward. And get our way into this championship football, championship level, where it's going to be a lot tougher. And we're going to have to fight for every point. And we win against Peterborough. Valakari in the 83rd minute getting the winner. Good performance, and I think that was the first team that played that game. So, very good performance. Uh, we need to make sure we keep an eye on fitness levels, <clears throat> and we don't end up leaving our team short. Ivan Mesic, one of the players we were looking at at the start of the season, has moved. And he's gone to Estoril Praia. We're going to leave him on the scouting list because I want to see what happens to him. We've got uh, Alvaro, who still doesn't want to move to our league. So that's fine. Dowdo doesn't want to move to our league either. Which is fine. We'll just remove him now. Amu don't want to come here. Terry Ambrose, don't want to come here. Aronson, we can only buy on release clause, which means I don't want him. Livermento doesn't want to relocate. Now, this is where it gets serious. Okay, so George Tanner is interested. Okay, George Tanner is interested. Roberto Nieto, the centre-back, is interested. Right, guys. We have to be serious now about what we do. We have to improve the team. And the way we're looking at improving the team is improving it for next season, really. So, off that basis, if we sign Miguel Dodos, 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 we sign him. This could be a good signing as a backup or even a player to loan out for in a few years' time. He could be actually pretty good. So we're going to go with what he wants because they don't normally negotiate that. We're going to accept that. No release clause. And he wants us to tell him what wages we want to offer him. 3K? He thinks that's a reasonable offer. Okay, so welcome to the club. Um, Alvaro... Is going to be removed now. 
because he doesn't want to join us. Terry Ambrose, potential for next season. Livermento, potential for next season. Kirby ain't going to quite cut the mustard. Wilson, don't need another fullback. Uh, Ostchuk. Now that's tempting. I, I'm going to go, first of all, for Nieto. Nieto is going to be signed, hopefully. Another centre-back. So you can see what our plan is here to improve the team. I want you on a four-year deal, just to be safe. No release clause, that's fine. And he wants 350k a week. That works for me. You're insane. Welcome to the club. Could have got a lot more than that from me, mate. But if you, that's what you're after, that's what you get. Now, Hernan Suarez. Now, he looks like a good little footballer. Now, this guy could just be a signing for, for potentially... The future, maybe even loan him out for a couple of years. How tall is he? He's 5'7", so he'll never play a centre-back. He's a left-back. We've got a current couple of bunch of left-backs at the club now. So if we sign him and then loan him out, or loan one of them out at least, because um, we've got a left-back now that we're training as a right-back or Oz. He's now officially a right-back. Um, so, yeah, realistically, we could get away with that deal. Wigget, we don't need. Rodriguez, we're not going to go for. Uh, Insua, potentially, in a couple years' time, he could be looked at. Kelleher, mm, I'm tempted for next season. Amaral. Now, Amaral might be signed as a project. I don't think we're going to go for Val Van Vlede. We're going to go for Amaral. Are we going to go for Amaral? Yeah, we're going to go for Amaral and then loan him out. That's the plan. He's, he wants sporadic. That's fine with me. Five-year deal. That works for me. So the thing with the centre-backs is I want to train up Honcho. Also, he feels pretty good. So Honcho is going to be trained up. And eventually, he's going to come in as a high-rated player. But until then... We need to be realistic and train him and keep playing him and playing him and playing him as much as possible. And hopefully that'll be enough to make him a very good footballer for us. And then the other players from then can come into the team as well and rotate. But at the moment, we need to work on what we can do as Ozchuk signs for us as well. So that's a couple of good signings there. We're going to go and just double check where they all fit into the teams. So Ozchuk. Probably comes into the second team now. Lancaster comes out of the bench. We don't need Lancaster in the second team at all. Ozchuk in. Uh, Dodas comes onto the bench. And comes in instead of Thomas, actually. Uh, and then I think we'll start Nieto over. Nieto starts over him, to be honest with you. Who's our centre-back in our teams? We've got... Oko and Honcho. So Honcho is growing. He is now 20 years old at 59. So he's getting there. When we get to the stage where we believe we don't have to play him anymore regularly, we'll do that. But until then, we need to just keep get, keep him in the team, keep him going, and just do what we can. Uh, Burnson potentially can play his right back. We can. We'll just train up his weak foot. Suarez, it says he can play uh, full back. On both sides. So that's fine with me as well. As we just take out Gong from this team. And put Amaral on the bench. And then we'll just go through and double check the first team and numbers. So a couple of good sign-ins there. I I can stress enough. I'm very happy with a couple of those sign-ins. Um, yeah, I don't see them being bad moves. I think potentially they could be pretty good moves in the end. Because if you look at our bench now, we've got, well, we've even got Nieto down here in the reserves. So, yeah, and maybe Acosta gets a loan out this season uh, because Nieto has a tiny bit more pace and Nieto might be more usable. So I'm going to go down to the squad hub now and have a look at who goes out. So we need those options because he's basically a fullback. Uh, Arlo's leaving, Arlo Law. 
Thomas needs to go now. Uh, Acosta, Lone, Dodas, Lone. Let's see which one goes first. And Nieto, Lone. Let's see which one of those boys goes out first. Um, what else we got? Ostuk, we're going to put you on the Lone list, see if you go. If not, you stay and play. Um, Ferrari, you're fine. Meredith's already out on Lone. Sadler and Amaral, Lone. Let's see if any of those lads get a loan offer. But I think that's a very successful transfer window. Um, we brought in a couple of good options. As RC Lund's offer for Brian Oko, the 19-year-old. Now, right, I've got to play this as I would as a business. Now, we wouldn't sell him in January. But if this offer comes in in the summer transfer window, it might even be considered or negotiated with at least. But for now, we're going to reject it. it might leave Brian Oko quite unhappy. I hope not, but it might do. As Thomas is surprised that we've transfer listed him. But you're not really needed here. So, yeah. So realistically, what we need to do is we need to work with what we can do, guys. And, yeah, go, go with the team and the players that fit our philosophy. And if a transfer offer comes in that's realistic like this one. Like this one from Brentford. Now, I like Brian Oko. But we've just brought in a couple of good players. Do we let Brian leave? Ah, uh, right. Now, my point, my thought process here is I'm accepting one offer and one offer only. We're doubling, we're doubling this and we're going to propose new fee. It's going to be six million or nothing. Or he stays, basically. Six million with a 10% sell-on clause. Submit offer. And they don't want to do it. If I get this six million offer in that I am after for Oko, he goes. It's that simple, guys. It's a high offer, but it's an offer I believe to be basically the right one for him. Um, yeah, so I I believe that to be the right offer for him. So we'll we'll go and we'll stick to our guns for now. And fingers crossed. So, fingers crossed we can get a win here against Fleetwood. And we do 3-0. Sadler, Digraf, and Lancaster with the goals to make it a 3-0 victory. Very comfortable. And we progress on at the level we need to be, which is brilliant so far. And I cannot fault any of these lads. They are trying their hardest. Now, that wouldn't happen. And as you can see, Amaral... There is an accepted short-term loan, short loan to Philadelphia. And Michael Dodas. De delegate loan, one year, no option to buy. From a high-rated club as well. RC Lons want to loan him in. That is a huge move, if he can get that. As we wait confirmation of what's going to happen. Amaral's loaned out. Dodas loan agreement. They've accepted our proposed terms for taking him on a two-year loan deal. Okay, they want a two-year loan. Fine. By the time he comes back, hopefully he'll be progressed. If not, we could sell him easily for money. After signing him for free. So that's fine. That's good business. That's good business. He's not going to feature for us this season. Now that means Nieto's not going out on loan. We're going to keep hold of Nieto now. We're going to block off. As we don't need to sell Nieto anymore or loan him out. No longer needed to go. Because we got rid of one of the other. Offer for Valakari is never going to be enough to consider. Valakari is going to stay. He's been a very useful player for us so far. And he'll continue being a useful player in our first 11. So it's up to him now whether he leaves or not. Or he comes and stays with us for another 
well, well, for another season actually, because he won't, he will be staying with us for another. season. Find that a strange decision to give Honcho the captaincy, but they have done. But hey ho, we'll do it. Uh, we'll let him do it. Let's get into this one. Hopefully, it's going to be three points. Let's get this underway, guys. Already the ball control on the first control there. The first touch felt weird. Honcho captain in the side for the first time. As well as Valakari steps out of today's game. Jankovic. Digraf. Digraf takes a touch. Unlucky. Corner. Digraf with the corner. Right in there. Jankovic. 1-0. Four minutes in. We lead. Four minutes in and we lead already. It's a very good delivery from Digraf and a cracking header from Jankovic and it's 1-0. Couldn't miss really. He has three players on him. They miss the ball and he just glancing headers it and past the keeper. Pavel Jankovic with his 15th goal of the season. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Promising pass. Burton, can they fight fight back and bite back straight away? Will it be an instant reply? Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Well, honestly, Lancaster. This wasn't a very good pass, finally. So, Digraf does brilliantly. Gets out to Oroz. Back into Digraf. Oh, unlucky. Gong. Horvath. Jankovic. Digraf. Gets it onto his right foot. He hits the crossbar. It's a good effort. He gets it onto his right foot. Wraps his body around. He gets his foot around the ball. And he's just over. Just off the top of the crossbar. Jankovic. Horvath. Jankovic. Digraf. Horvath. Look at his football now. Horvath does amazingly. And he scores. Brilliant goal, Horvath. Manages just to get past the defence. And it's a lovely finish. He comes over and celebrates in front of the away fans. And we are 2 0 up here at Burton Albion. Look at this. Turns. A little ball roll, gets into some space, whacks it with some power, ain't saving that. Horvath makes it 2 0 to Liscard. Oroz, his Hungarian colleague. Honcho, Jankovic. Digraf, not a good shot. Good header. Oh, uh, Jankovic tries to get there. Go on. Jankovic. Oh, it's a great save. Good pressure from us to get the ball back. And it's a very good save from the Burton Albion keeper. Digraf gets the ball into the middle. Some boos going around the stadium here. For the first half so far from the, the home team. Need to get bodies back. Oroz needs to take a touch. Oh, that is a great touch, Oroz. Look at that. Lancaster, Jankovic. It's a lovely ball over the top. Digraf. One more. He's got Sadler. Sadler's in. Scores. 3 0. It's already game over here, guys. In the first half. Lucas Sadler goes to a great spot on the away fans. And it's 3-0. We've created an amazing display after a very long trip up here to Burton Albion from Liscard in Cornwall. What a goal that is. Brilliant work from the front three. And fantastic finish from his weak foot there. It's Lucas Sadler. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitute. 
Second half from ourselves has been quite poor, to be honest with you. Right, guys, we're going to jump to the result here because it's getting a bit frustrating in this game. And they do score in the 90th minute with Michael Mancian, I presume that is. But it's a 3-1 victory nonetheless. Doesn't matter that they scored. We win. We move on to the next game with three points. And we're going to just simulate the EFL trophy game here first before ending the episode. Because we just don't care about it. We get a loan offer for from Gremio for Halil Ostia. Now, I want to keep him here for now. I want to see what we can do with him. We're actually going to block off his crossed. We, uh, honestly, I don't care if we win or lose. And we lose. We're out. Come on. Finally, we're out of the Johnson's Bank Trophy, the EFL Cup. Whatever you want to paint it over the Papa John's Trophy. It's been called so many things over the years and people still didn't care. We're finally out of it. Again, as Thomas gets sold. And this has been superb from us today. Absolutely superb. We've done very well. Lincoln will be our next game, which obviously will be a simulation. Considering they are rock bottom. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you're new around here, please subscribe for more. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. I've been Chris12LFC, and I'll see you later.